Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Rihanna inspired makeup look. This is the look that she rocked for the Anfar Gala, which is a charity event. I really wanted to recreate this look because I feel like it's perfect for the holidays, especially Thanksgiving. I have already done my eyebrows and I do have an eyebrow routine if you are wondering and I'm quickly priming my eyes with my Pro Longwear Concealer. The first shadow that I will be using is the color Texture by MAC. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. It is very orange and brown at the same time so I really wanted to make sure to use this color since she kind of had an orange eye. I am using it as a base but I will be using another color to transition into a orange tone color. Now I'm going to go in with this palette. The palette that I'm using is the A La Mode palette by Too Faced and the highlight that I'm using is the color Saint Tropez. This is a very shimmery highlight. I noticed that on her lid and on her eyebrow bone she did have a lot of shimmer so I decided to go with a shimmer base for the eyebrow bone. After that, I'm going to go in with the color Canes. This color is orange, but at the same time, it has some sort of gold and shimmer to the shadow. So I wanted to make sure to use it on my crease. I'm using a slow motion just to get some sort of a wing. Then I go in with my Mary Luminizer. I'm using my Mary Luminizer for my lid. I did spray some... NYX Dewy Finish Spray and I'm actually trying this. You guys know that I usually use my MAC X Plus but I wanted to go ahead and try some drugstore products. So after that I am going back with a clean brush and I'm making sure that there are no harsh lines in my shadow. I noticed that she had a wing on her eye, so I wanted to make sure to, to try to recreate the same wing that she had. Her wing was a bit thin, but it was a very long at the end. So this is a very quick tutorial on my eyeliner. After that, I went in with these lashes that I found. They're actually very inexpensive, and they come in a pack of two. I will be linking them on the description bar if you guys are interested in the lashes that I use. And I just coated them with some mascara so that they would look very natural since her lashes were very fluttery and very natural looking. Now I go in with my Smashbox primer. And I love this primer, you guys. I need to go buy a new one and I want to try all of their primers. I'm using this primer to apply my foundation right after and the foundation that I'm using is obviously my L'Oreal True Match and this is my favorite drugstore foundation. It is actually one of my favorite foundations period just because it goes so well with my skin and it does not budge you guys. It lasts all day on my skin but just so that you guys know I have combination skin. I don't have oily oily skin. Once I'm done with that, I'm using my Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW25 and I'm using this as a highlight as well as a concealer. I'm only going to be using a concealer today since I did not see a dramatic highlight on her makeup. But now I'm going to go in and just make sure I don't have any harsh lines and blend it with a beauty blender. And this is how it looks like so far. And yes, I'm going in with my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm using the color Banana to set my concealer and make sure that it lasts all day and there are no creases throughout the day. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Bonjour palette and I'm using Sunny Bunny and it is a natural bronzer. It does have a bit of shimmer and the reason that I decided to use a shimmer was because the face was extremely dewy. So I'm going to be applying this all over my face and I am going to be contouring my nose with the same bronzer. I'm just using a fluffy brush to just kind of get that very elongated nose that I'm looking for and then I'm going to go in after I'm done with my finger and I'm just going to slide it through make sure that I don't have any harsh creases. I noticed that uh, using my finger as a mixer 
works much better than a brush. I'm going in with my Betty Luminizer and I'm just slightly applying a bit of the bronzer since it is very shimmery, but I love, love how it applies. Then I go in with my Mary Luminizer and I'm just gently tapping some highlight. And I love this highlight, but it can be very powerful if you do not use it correctly. Then I'm gonna just go in and finish my eyes. I am spraying some NYX Mist. And I'm using the same color that I used on my lids. It was the color Canes. She had a lot of shimmer below her eyes, so I'm making sure to get that effect on my eyes. After that, I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Pro Mascara and just apply some on my bottom lashes and we're basically going to be done with our eyes right after. This is how it looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. We noticed that Rihanna had an orange lip. So I'm gonna go in with a MAC product. It is a Pro Longwear MAC product in the color What A Blast. It is a very long lasting lip color. I had it on the whole day and it did not smudge one bit. So I am gonna be probably buying a lot of their Pro Longwear lip liners. Right after that, once I'm done, I am gonna be using a MAC lipstick and a Lime Crime lipstick. The first one that I'm using is the color Morongo by MAC. I love this orange. It is so dramatic. Now I'm going to go in with my Lime Crime Cosmo Pop. And I definitely did not have to use this color, but I wanted to just make sure that I got the perfect color that she had. You can just use Morongo and you would be fine, but you know me, I have to kind of mix things around. That's basically it for this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It was super easy and it's so doable. I will be using this look most likely for Thanksgiving since it does have that orange look and it reminds me of Thanksgiving. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and make sure to click on this video if you want to watch my huge beauty and fashion haul or you can also just follow me on any of my social media sites.